Since our uh, our last game, um, I had a couple chances to uh, to talk, and, and uh, first I shared um, my feelings about uh, about our team and uh, about the organization and representing the Twelves and my intentions of staying with the Hawks, man, and that um, that was uh, true to the bone, and uh, I want to make sure that that's that's clear as things have shifted so quickly in, in most people's perspective. Uh, it's been an honor and a thrill to be part of this program. And uh, I've loved every minute of it. And uh, <laughs> you've watched me love it <laughs> in particular. Um, and it's, it's, it's exciting that, that there's such a future uh, uh, here. And, and you can see it. And we, we know what's happening. And, and uh, it's bright. And the club's got great places to go. And there's great chances. It don't ever happen automatically. There's a lot of work to be done and all of that. But the future is bright. I'm freaking jacked. I'm fired up. I'm not tired. I'm not worn down. Uh, you, you guys tried your best. You didn't wear me out. I'm, you know, it's the end of the season. I'm supposed to be, you know, go lay on a cot somewhere. I ain't feeling like that. And, uh, um, you know, there's what's coming. I don't know. I got no idea. And I really don't care right now. But uh, I do. Um, I'm excited about it because there's a lot to learn. There's a lot to study. Uh, there's a uh, there's some great discoveries that are going to come our way. And as my my all-time mentor, Bud Grant said, not in so many words, uh, there's, there's rivers to wade, uh, there's waves to catch, and there's mountains to hike. And uh, it wasn't exactly how Bud said it, but uh, I get it. And uh, that's some cool stuff that we're going to do here. Um, and uh, I look forward to all that. I got to say, that doesn't sound like somebody who was ready to step away Whoa. from coaching at all. Whoa was our reaction Whoa. here, too. Is to, go ahead, Dan. What, what do you think about what Carroll just said? Yeah, my big takeaway is the emotion that Coach Carroll was fighting back. My second thing is he was fired. It certainly sounds like he was a coach that was fired because he made it very clear of his intentions to stay. And then talking about the future, and he was like, this place has a very bright future. So I, I the way initially I thought it was this mutual agreement, yeah. I don't come away from Coach Carroll's press conference thinking that anymore. It sounds like he wanted to be their head coach, and he was told no longer he would be. Yeah, he also, Adam, referenced that he had said he wanted to continue on when asked following their last game. What more can you tell us now with this additional context of hearing publicly from Carroll? Well, Laura, he said after the last game, he wanted to and intended to keep coaching. He repeated it during his appearance Monday morning on ESPN Radio in Seattle, and he essentially said right there yeah. that he did not sound like somebody who would be willing to entirely give up coaching if the right opportunity came along. So I open it up to you, the audience, and say we now have six <laughs> other openings wow. other than the ones in Seattle. If you are a team <clears throat> in Las Vegas or Los Angeles, where Pete Carroll has mm. coached. Are you placing a call to Pete Carroll to interview him for your head coach opening? Why not, I say, why not? That man, I will say, has more energy than most every <laughs> human being. He still has that energy. He still has the zest. He still wants to coach, which is very apparent by his comments throughout the course of this week. And it doesn't mean you have to hire him. But why would you not want to talk to one of the most accomplished coaches that we've seen in recent decades? Man, listen, <laughs> Shefty, when you said L.A., bro, because L.A. is a place I had Bill Belichick as far as having Justin Herbert already in an organization. This is this is how I think about this now after listening to Pete Carroll. And I think about the Chargers. There are they are a franchise that has been supposedly on the cusp of being really, really good. They've made defensive changes, and I get that Pete Carroll defensive uh, plan over the last few years hasn't been good, but I have no doubts that he can adjust, and it may be a change of scenery that changes how he plays defense and having not a limitation of having players. And then you think about L.A., though, and what you said, Shefty. There was no place better in college football than USC when Pete Carroll was leading the charge. Mm -hmm. There was no better city to go watch a game and we always talk about the Chargers being the second-class citizens in L.A. to the Rams yeah. and everything else that goes on. And I know he's 72, and I know it's cool to hire young coaches, but you got a hell of a quarterback there that we need to see the talent come out of, 
and a team that's been right there on the edge of us thinking that they're good, this would be very interesting if Pete Carroll was to go to L.A. I, I love that, Marcus. I, I would also say the Carolina Panthers, Bro. right? Because when you think about yep. Pete Carroll and what his value proposition is, besides the fact that he's a great coach and obviously people have flourished underneath him, he builds culture. Is there any place that needs culture more than the Carolina Panthers right now? Again, don't know if that will happen, but trust me, you have a young quarterback. You need stability in this organization and everything around him to get the most out of this first overall pick. And someone like Pete Carroll is somebody who can set that train on the right path. Wow. Um, I do want to put this up on the screen. We have a tweet from Russell Wilson that you may have seen, but if you hadn't, this is his reaction. One of the greatest ever. Keep shooting, coach. Grateful for the memories. The best is ahead, and that seems even more important considering the fact that we just heard from Pete Carroll emotional about this news and saying he wants to continue coaching.